on here again. Got another little project I'm working on today. Um, over the last few years, I've been dragging a garden hose all the way out to the garden. It's about, well, I measured it. It's 120 feet. Then I have to pick it up if I'm going to mow the lawn, so it's kind of been a pain. And I've wanted to get wa a water source out there for a few years now. And I decided today's the day that that's going to happen. <clears throat> so I spent the last two and a half, three hours digging a trench. I only dug it about 12 inches deep because I'm not trying to get under the frost line here, which is about three feet deep <clears throat> on a cold winter. Um, I just want to get it deep enough that it's protected and I'll disconnect it and blow it out with a compressor every year in the fall before winter so that it never freezes up. But it'll give me a, a connection point right out there at the garden. It'll be very handy. So I went to Lowe's. I bought a hundred feet of three quarter inch uh, flexible tubing here. That's uh, that's rated for like 200 PSI, so it's fine. And I've got two uh, 10 foot sticks of uh, three quarter inch PVC pipe. Um, I got some glue and primer. I got a 90 for the garden end and a 45. I'm just going to pop up on this end where I can hook a hose to this. And I have a valve for the garden side. And I got two uh, slip to threaded female connectors and two connectors to connect this um, flexible tube to the PVC. So this will screw onto here with a little bit of Teflon tape and that'll glue right onto the PVC garden. The only thing I still need to buy, which they didn't have at Lowe's, was um, a uh, three quarter inch PVC male and female, one for each side, um, connector to connect the hoses up to. So I'll have to either order one of those online or check uh, Home Depot or another store because uh, Lowe's didn't have any in stock. I have a total of, I think it was $48 in materials. So pretty cheap. Um, pretty easy project to do. I think anybody could do it. As long I did it the hard way with the shovel. And that'll keep me off the treadmill for today, I guess. Anyway, let's get started.
Well, it's now May, and I finished my remote water supply for the garden. So I got my hose here, live, ready to go. Um, actually, I already used it. And this is where the water line comes up. I put a strap here to help support it, because this is a PVC pipe. It's not that strong. And then I, I left a tail here so that I could put a, a second strap here. And I put a T so that it would come out horizontally rather than come up and then try to kink the hose. And I got a female adapter here. Um, it's uh, thread. Then I got a threaded uh, standard NPT to hose male adapter. The, uh, brass, I believe. Yeah, brass. It goes into there and then I hook the hose up. And then I put a half inch uh, strap here around the hose so I'm not wrenching on this PVC. So it won't break. And then I got a valve here just to, I can turn it on and off. So yeah, this is, this is really gonna make uh, life a little easier out here at the garden because I'm always lugging hose out here and, and lugging it back over there and then moving it when I mow. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be pretty helpful. I'll show you the other side. So I also um, did a female NPT here. And then I got a brass um, NPT to hose connector there. And then I got this, uh, this uh, 10 foot uh, hose connection. It's actually female on both sides. It works out perfect for this application. So then that goes over here, just around, and goes up to the silcock there. So it works good. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, if you like these kinds of videos, check out some of my other videos. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.